first celebrity crush? <laughs> my first celebrity crush was um, The Who, the whole band. It was a tie between them and Barry Manilow. What does that say about me? My first celebrity crush uh, was Maureen McCormick from the, from the Brady Bunch. John Travolta. I wrote John Travolta fan mail when I was like eight, um, and I didn't know how to write J, so I wrote to Sean Travolta. JTT. Ricky Ricardo. Jason Priestley. Mm, Lindsay Lohan. Slash Ty Pennington. <laughs> oh my god, my favorite movie growing up was The Birdcage. Young Frankenstein. Mighty Ducks 2. The original Disney Fantasia. My favorite movie growing up was Revenge of the Nerds. I think because I'm a total nerd and I loved that the nerds win. Drop Dead Gorgeous. Basic Instinct. My favorite movie um, growing up, I think, was Mary Poppins, but it was in German. So it was Mary Poppins. My favorite childhood TV show before I moved here was Pippi Longstocking, and then after I moved here was, uh, was Mighty Mouse. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I Love Lucy. Doug Funny. Oh, The Muppet Show. The Muppet Show. I still love it. Full House. Um, I love, well, growing up as like the kid, 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 I loved um, Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And then as I was getting older, I, I grew up in the age where it was Saturday morning cartoons. So it would have to be like the Smurfs and, and Looney Tunes. Um, I uh, never owned a car until I was in my 30s, but the first car I was allowed to drive was a 1978 Volvo station wagon. That handles like a tank from the 40s. You'd turn a corner like a bus driver, you'd be like, all right, we're moving. We're going around, guys. <laughs> and one day I put it in reverse and the entire transmission just fell out. It was not my fault, Dad. Okay, it was not my fault. I didn't ever have a car. I still don't have a car, but I have a license I can drive. I think it was a Nissan Sentra. Oh, my first car was a Volkswagen Rabbit. My first car was a Chevy Impala Super Sport 1961. A Range Rover. Uh, a Range Rover. Uh. My dad used to work for Chevrolet, so um, it was a Chevy, I think it was a Cavalier, I think it was gray. I drove my date to the prom junior year in it. <laughs> <gasps> My first kiss was in the basement of a boy's home after we made up a dance to Cold Hearted Snake. And, um, and now he's married to a man. <laughs> At Camp Longhorn with Wyatt Ramey. On a school bus. In the back of a theater. That's how we say theater in Chicago, theater. My first kiss was in uh, Queens, in Hollis, uh, in, the, in the front of my house with my neighbor. Jimmy Wingert. I have a picture of it. I think it's probably a friend's backyard, probably playing spin the bottle. Here's the thing about a first kiss. There's a lot of first kisses. There's like, spin the bottle, kiss. Then there's your first kiss where you're like, I mean this. And then there's your first kiss where you're like, I've tingled. I don't mean like teed myself. I mean like, felt good. And then there's your first kiss where you pee yourself. <laughs> 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 Which hasn't happened yet. I can't have something to look forward to. I had so many nicknames growing up. My parents called me Henry, uh, Hildebrand, because that was a street near us, and Juicy. I had a nickname when I got to high school. My coach would call me Chuck. Chatterbox. Neeks. I always wanted a nickname, but because my name is Sutton, it was like already unique enough, but I kept, I fought for it. I always wanted a nickname. I guess the only thing, of, uh, for a while, people would call me Suttbutt. My first, like, serious job was in a Subway commercial. Working at an auto body shop. Selling suits uh, in a men's store. Dental assistant. Uh, scooping ice cream at Ben & Jerry's. I worked at a Kmart. I'm a weirdo because I was, like, working professionally when I was younger. <laughs> but um, I'd say my first job job was um, on a national tour of the Will Rogers Follies when I was 17 as a dancer. Hometown is Las Vegas. Heidelberg. Houston, Texas. Glenview, Illinois. Dayton, Ohio. New York. I don't really have a hometown. My my dad, I guess because he worked for Chevrolet, we moved around a lot. So I was born in Georgia. So if I say a Georgia, it would be Augusta or Martinez. But then I went to high school in Michigan. So then I would say Troy, Michigan, because that's where I graduated high school from. I'm sort of like a Southern Midwesterner. Oh, yeah. Yes. 
I was always in detention. I don't know. I was a very goody two-shoes. I don't think I... Maybe once. Maybe once for doing something almost naughty. Did I ever get detention in school? No, I almost got... I almost got suspended, but that was because I was late all the time. Still late all the time. <laughs> Joke's on them. Haven't corrected my behavior. I don't ever remember getting detention. I was pretty goody-goody. I did get caught once my senior year trying to sneak out to go to lunch, but we didn't get in trouble. I didn't get detention. I was a good kid. Um, I feel like I kind of fooled everyone in school. I was like honor roll, all A's kind of student. But I mean, I was fooling everyone. I had a laminated hall pass. I could just walk out of class anytime and show my pass and be like, laminated, because I convinced them to give me one. I was a con artist, is what I was. So, yeah. Don't show this to my kids. Revisit? Um, I think I would like to revisit 30. I would revisit, like, 11, so then I could just, like, have a little pep talk with, like, my teenager. Be like, it's cool, calm down, everything's gonna be great. Like, stop stressing, stop caring what everybody thinks about you. I'd want to go nowhere near middle school, but I, I suppose I'd want to revisit high school. I had a lot of fun in high school. I went to a really special magnet high school. Which age would I want to revisit? I like the age I am, but if I could revisit an age, I'd like to revisit those sort of moments in my life when my kids were first born, so I could see them as little babies again, just for a little bit. Maybe three, to like see the world with just that. Those eyes would be incredible. That's hard, man. I kind of don't really want to go backwards. I had a friend, uh, he would ask his mother at different ages if she would go back to each decade, and she goes, no, nah, I already did that. I think I learned what I needed to, and the next decade was even better. So. I'm optimistic. I think my next decade's gonna be better. Yes. I don't know, but it may be forever, but with breaks. Maybe you just get like a long break and then you can sort of touch down again and see how things are going and then maybe take another long break. So, so yes, but with breaks. If it was just me living forever, I don't think I would. But if everybody could live forever together, that would be fun. When I'm 70, I'll be working and happy. When I'm 70, I will be in my home in Florence, Italy, and you should all come visit me and we'll have some Chianti and I'll cook for you. At 70, I'll be... Levitating. Having the best time. Working and maybe teaching. 70. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the TV Land YouTube channel for more younger and leave a comment below. A nice comment.